Hi, it's uh, 9 o'clock and we're live to do another Dr. Seuss book for Dr. Seuss Month all July long, Monday through Friday, 9 o'clock right here. We're doing Dr. Seuss every night. Tonight is Fox and Socks, which I thought was like a beginner reader, um, which it is. I mean, it's labeled as a beginner book, but it is a... A time twister. Are you going to read it? No. Okay, go sit down, please. <laughs> He's always jumping on um it is it is a yeah it is a tongue twister book i did not realize how uh crazy it was going to be um but i am warned right here on the inside cover take it slowly this book is dangerous um and then i yeah i read through it earlier today and i was like oh I'm gonna be, be, be bad. There will be at least probably one time during this video where I just go. Blah, 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 words are hard. Box socks. Box knocks. Say say starts off simple. Starts off easy. Let's me limber up my face. Knocks in box. Fox in socks. Knocks on fox in socks and box. See, we're just doing different arrangements of those four rhyming words. It's okay. Oh no. Socks on knocks and knocks in box, fox in socks on box on knocks. Okay. We're doing all right. We're still we're still doing okay. Oh yeah, and Knox is wearing socks now too, which is important to note, I guess. Oh goodness. Chicks with bricks come, chicks with blocks come. Chicks with bricks and blocks and clocks come. See them chicks? What are them bricks? And all them blocks and all them clocks. Look, sir, look, sir, Mr. Knox, sir. Let's do tricks with bricks and blocks, sir. Let's do chicks let's do tricks with chicks and clocks, sir. See it's started already. It's starting already. First I'll make a quick trick brick stack. Then I'll make a quick trick block stack. You can make a twick uh, see? You can make a quick trick chick stack. You can make a quick trick clock stack. And here's a new trick, Mr. Knox. Socks on chicks and chicks on fox. Fox on clocks and bricks on blocks. Bricks and blocks on knocks on box. I got through that page without losing my tongue. Now we come to ticks and tocks, sir. Try to say this, Mr. Knox, sir. Clocks on fox tick, clocks on knox talk. Six sick bricks tick, six six chicks the six sick chicks talk. See, it's now it's getting ridiculous. They're in bed because they're sick. I don't I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. Goodness gracious. I don't know. Oh my Oh, okay, Mr. Knox is gonna represent the common man, the sensible person here. Please, sir, I don't like this trick, sir. My tongue isn't quick or slick, sir. I get all those ticks and clocks, sir, mixed up with the chicks and tocks, sir. I can't do it, Mr. Fox, sir. I'm so sorry, Mr. Knox, sir. I, I like to keep calling each other sir. It's very respectable. Very respectful, like Aaron Burr and Alexander Hamilton. Here's an easy game to play. Here's an easy thing to say. New socks, two socks. Who socks? Sue socks. Do we think it's going to stay easy? It never stays easy. Who sews Sue socks? Or, see, already messed it up. Who sews who socks? Sue sews Sue socks. Who sees who sew whose new socks, sir? You see Sue sews Sue's new socks, sir. That's not easy, Mr. Fox, sir. Sorry, wait till the crow shows up. Oh, here's the crow. Who comes? Crow comes. Slow Joe Crow comes. What is Slow Joe Crow going to add to the Sue's sewing socks? Oh, who sews crow's clothes? Sue sews crow's clothes. Slow Joe Crow sews whose clothes? Sue's clothes. Apparently, Sue, Low Joe Crow and Sue sew each other's clothes. And I'm supposed to be okay with that. Sue sews, Sue, Sue sews socks of fox in socks now. Slow Joe Crow sews knocks in box now. Now, I don't know that I like that they're just sewing Knox into a box. I don't. I feel bad for Mr. Knox, sir. 
Sue sews rose on Slow Joe Crow's clothes. Fox sews hose on Slow Joe Crow's nose. Hose goes, rose grows, ho- nose hose goes some, crow's rose grows some. I got through that whole page okay. Quite proud. Mr. Fox, I hate this game, sir. This game makes my tongue quite lame, sir. Mr. Knox, sir. What a shame, sir. Mr. Knox is on my side. Oh, sorry. My, see, this is making my tongue tired. I'm yawning over. We'll find something new to do now. Here is lots of new blue goo now. New goo, blue goo, gooey, gooey, blue goo, new goo, gluey, gluey. That's just weird. Ooey, ooey. Gooey goo for chewy chewing. That's what goo. That that's what that goo goose is doing. Do you choose to chew goo too, sir? If sir, you sir choose to chew, sir, with the goo goose. Chew, sir. Do, sir. Mr. Fox, sir, I won't do it. I can't say it. I won't chew it. Very well, sir. Step this way. We'll find another game to play. Mr. Knox already out on the blue goo. Can't blame him. Oh, this is the worst. I am concerned. Bim comes, Bin comes. Bim brings, Bim brings Bin broom. Bin brings Bim broom. Bin bends Bim's broom. Bim bends Bin's broom. Bim's bends Bin's bends. Bin's bent broom breaks. Bim's bent broom breaks. Why are they named Bim and Ben? Ben is a name. Bim is not a name. This is ridiculous. Ben's band, Bim's band, big bands, pig bands. Bim and Ben lead bands with brooms. Ben's band bangs with and Bim's band booms. My tongue is getting all limbered. Pig band, boom band, big band, broom band. My poor mouth can't say that. No, sir. My poor mouth is much too slow, sir. Well, then bring your mouth this way. I'll find it something it can say. Knox is out on the bim and bin, and I cannot blame him. I wish he'd have been out like a page and a half earlier. Luke, oh gosh. Luke luck likes lakes. Luke's duck likes lakes. Luke luck licks lakes. Luke's duck licks lakes. Duck takes licks in lakes. Luke luck likes. Luke luck takes licks in lakes. Duck likes. This is dangerous territory, because there are words that end with uck that I should not say on YouTube on a children's video. Yeah. I am concerned. I didn't say them, but I'm afraid my tongue is going to make a blibber. I can't blab this blibber blubber. My tongue isn't made of rubber. Mr. Knox, now, come now, come now. You don't have to be so dumb now. See, that's just disrespectful. Call him Mr. Knox. Dumb because he can't say tongue twisties. Try to say this, Mr. Knox, please. Through three cheese trees, three free fleas flew. While these fleas flew, freezy breeze blew. Freezy breeze made these three trees freeze. Freezy trees made these trees cheese freeze. That's what made these three flea free. Uh, I was so close. That's what made these three free fleas sneeze. I don't know how fleas... Stop it! Stop it! That's enough, sir! I can't say such silly stuff, sir. Very well, then, Mr. Knoxer. Let's have a little talk about Tweedle Beetles. <laughs> Tweedle Beetles. Really excited to hear about the Tweedle Beetles. They're going to battle with butter. What do you know about Tweedle Beetles? Well, when Tweedle Beetles fight, it's called a Tweedle Beetle battle. See, that's not so bad. Tweedle Beetle battle. Tweedle Beetle battle. And when they battle in a puddle, it's called a Tweedle Beetle Puddle Battle. And when Tweedle Beetles battle in a battle with paddles in a puddle, they call it a Tweedle Beetle Puddle Paddle Battle. And there's more. There's always more. Game. This book hates me. When beetles battle beetles in a puddle battle pu- battle in the beetle battle puddle is a puddle in a bottle. They call this a Tweedle Beetle Bottle Puddle ba- Paddle Battle Muddle. And 
Yeah, it gets going to get worse, isn't it? It's going to be worse. When beetles fight these battles in a bottle with their paddles and the bottles on a poodle and the poodles eating noodles, they call this a muddle puddle, tweedle poodle, beetle noodle, bottle paddle battle. And I don't know why there's a poodle eating noodles involved in this at all. That's just... And now wait a minute, Mr. Sox Fox. Good. Thank you, God, for Mr. Knox. When a fox is in the bottle where the Tweedle Beetles battle with their paddles in a puddle on a noodle eating poodle, this is what they call a Tweedle Beetle Noodle Puddle Bottle Paddle Muddle Duddle Fuddled Waddle Fox in Socks, sir! Mr. Knox just shoved the fox inside the bottle with the Tweedle Beetles battling with their paddles in a puddle on a poodle eating noodle. It's rather oh, exciting. Oh, yeah, they're gonna fight him. Yeah, the, the beetles are coming with their paddles for the fox in the socks. Fox in socks, our game is done, sir. Thank you for a lot of fun, sir. I don't think he means that. I think he's being sarcastic. For a second, that's how you said it. And that is the end of it. A poodle eating noodles.